Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to UMG Orlando. It's day two, and yeah. everything's going pretty well. Just refreshing my timeline, and uh, good news. The Queen is, in fact, watching. God save, save the, the Queen. queen. They, should, they should get nice odds if they win this they one. They should. More Sir Mad Cat. That would be, be a scary thought. Sir Trap Cat. That would be uh, <laughs> an interesting knighthood, that's for sure. Lord but Mad Cat. Game two. About to get in the way. Detroit up blink. Honestly, if we see Epsilon stay the same way they did in that hard point, this isn't even going to go looked amazing. Injury. They look so amazing. So, they did. And, and saying that, you kind of have to pick them for this one. You can't really yeah. go against Epsilon now with just how hard they hit the last respawn. Who do you think is going to be the player to go off for this Petey. Epsilon team? I'm watching Petey. You need to watch Petey. All right. I think well, he had a great game in the hard point. I think he's going to do the same thing again. Uh, and, oh, he's actually going to be running a battle first of all, so he's going to be looking for a bit of map. Oh, no, no there, we there, go. Go. there we there go. go. There we go. Fast and Furious, Petey. Don't worry. Petey's got you. He's going to pull out that ASM-1. Uh, as we're going to see him push straight down the middle of that map. As stun's going out, connect instantly. And unfortunately, PD walks into a grenade. Dom was able to pick up the first kill on Pluto. He's going to fall as well. Josh goes down, leaves Madcat up momentarily by himself to just try and defend that ugly. Oh, Madcat's going in there now. It looks like they're going to go for a push. He's going to look for Silly. He's going to take him down as well. That ball has been thrown long range. They are going to go down. Dom is going to pick it up, though. That should be reset. Unless Dom's going to run it. Dom's decided to run it. That's brave. Doesn't happen very often. Most teams would just clear it in that position. Especially running down this left-hand side. You know, you, you ideally on this side want to get good control of school. But He's alive. Dom he is doing everything he can to stay <laughs> alive. He needs to really try and get rid of that, that I, I'll be honest with you, I can't agree with Dom's play. I have to say that I don't like that play. Simply because although he was running the ball away, first of all, he didn't get it further than the half, so it was right. useless. But he also took a gun away from his teammates. Like, he wasn't there to push and get that yep. pressure out. And there we go. Silly's now going to put that one in. Yeah, you Nice uh, counterplay coming in from Vex. And Vex go 2 0 up. Enzo looking to try and pick up some kills, but it's Madcat who has a satellite drone, gets oh! the beat down. Oh, now, can he go for the one point play? He may just jump out for the two. The jukes are oh, real. And Madcat Mad scores for two. And that's going to be five and three for him. Dom looking at trying to slay out from behind Vex. He's going to pick up another kill. One more player inside of school. Sees him in a corner, oh. misses the melee. That would have been nasty. But three plays for Epson go down. And now that fight for drone control continues. There we go, Magnet's going to try and fight it here. He's got so many players going to come against him. Free looking at the door. He's going to get that first kill. Takes the ball away. There are players all around him, but he somehow got it out. Going to be player by Crate's going to try and get him. He's managed to get are away. Are you serious? Just to hit him. Madcat! Oh! oh. <laughs> he was being chased by three or four players there from Vex, and he did so well. He managed to get as close as he did. Unfortunately, not able to get a point, though. And the drone was thrown out by Vex, so smart play from them, recognizing not to waste any time about that. Just get rid of it. But once again, it's Mad Cow with the drone. He's going to go for it again. He's not going to have any teammates here, but it hasn't mattered. Last time he's oh. almost got away again. He's dodging around these bullets as best he can. He's going to be picked up once more. He's going to be taking that pin. He picks it up. He's in a position to shoot. He used to oh. see a player there. Goes to the door. Oh, oh, Nate takes him down. That was a good nade coming in from Enzo. Managed to pick up the kill on PT. Mad Cat, meanwhile, is going to pick up one. That pushes him to seven to five. Drone reset this time in the hands of Dom. And he's going to be pushing that school side. His teammates need to win these gunfights. In fact, they don't. Dom's going to be left by himself oh, momentarily. Nice. Just tries to get that drone in Vex's face. Smart play. Yeah, so he puts a lot of pressure on him. I mean, Epsilon is just keeping this pressure up now against Vex. However, Vex has cleared them out. This will be a fair fight in the middle this time round. Ball in Vex's favor. It's going to be Enzo who has it. It's going to look towards Ramp to see if he can make a push. Waiting for his teammates to clean it. He needs to be careful, though. Because Epsilon picked up a couple of kills and the stun goes in on Enzo. And realistically, Enzo needs to try and wrap around here, but he's going to push straight towards PT. PT's going to pick up that kill. He's going to go down as well. Madcat going to try and trade. Goes straight for the drone and he's be careful being chased. Man on, Madcat. Madcat. He just goes against players, just runs away. He has now got it and there's an Epsilon push coming in. He should be able to do something here. Long route for him. Is he going to go for the shot? He is, goes I think for that's it. a miss. Oh, just falls short. PT though, in oh. a position to try and go for two. Josh goes down, four players actually down, and Silly opts to just throw that one out. Yeah, I think it's a smart player. Yep. Realistically, no matter how long, it's, how quickly he can get that to mid map, he's going to go quicker if he, just, if he just resets it. Now, Silly, he's going to fall. Ruto looking for some kills. He goes down as well. Mutation, last man alive momentarily. Needs to pick up the kill, and he's not going to be able to do so. Oh, he's going to come kill. against somebody here once again. Oh. They're just not really clearing school now. I mean, they're just trying to run it through. Right. It's not going to work. I said they're ready for him every single time. Benzo with the drone. 
Just gonna be taking his time. Allows mutation to go first. He picks up the kill. And he's gonna let the mutation just run the blocking roll for him. And Enzo <laughs> managed to get the beat down. Enzo hunting him down. On Mad Cat. He's gonna be pushing all the way through Garage. Um, with just two players in his way, he needs to wait for some team support. Seeing Chase now, who's going to play, but he's going to dip through. And now this is danger zone here. This is a very dangerous position for Epsilon. They might be able to get it. But look, he's had to go all the way back to the middle. Epsilon just thrown up a wall and said, you're not coming anywhere near. Uh, I would have I really liked to have seen Enzo drop that satellite drone in the middle and pick it back up. Just try and get that replenished armor. But decided not oh. to, and Mad Cat just turns around and slaps Pluto across the face. He might and Mad Cat actually could just go for one. Window. There's one, oh. no! He falls with three, a chance to release the drone. PT, meanwhile, with 13 seconds left, trying to slay. Gonna pick up the drone, eight seconds. PT just needs to go for it. Go he's gonna dunk two. it. He is. gets it! And Epsilon, with a two point lead, going into the half. Right now, I mean, I've got to say, I think it's, it's all about Mad Cat. It's, I mean, his numbers aren't the biggest KD, but the plays he's been making, right. the constant pressure he's been putting on. His uh, drone control has been very impressive for me. He's been trying to run that drone. Just picks it up, not afraid, picks it up and goes. Yeah, really and considering he's still stuff. going positive, unbelievable. Yeah, really good play. Uh, much better from Vex, though, I think we should mention as yep. well. Um, they've definitely woken up in between that first and second map. Uh, some big plays coming all around from them, and now they're going onto that good side, I personally feel. We could see this one tied up pretty quick. Nades coming straight through the middle. That's why a lot of these players are running trophy now. Now here we go, we're going to on board with Enzo first of all, walking towards Atlas. Going to see if there's anybody school window, nobody there at the moment. There to be a player right in front of him. Is he going to pick this player up? It's going to be Mad Cat running away again. He goes for the throw, he's not going to go in. Silly should be able to clear this one. No Epsilon members in the area. And that's going to go for a reset. Yep, just launches that one right out of the map and now pushes towards that middle. Needs to tap the left hand side. There is going to be a wild Mad Cat. Uh, Mad Cat's going to pick up that kill. Pluto now, last man alive. Needs to defend this up like that. Down he goes as well. Epsilon going to make another push. They will pick this one up. It's satellite time now. You actually see they've not picked it up. They're waiting for their teammates to spawn before they go for it. Enzo's going to pick up that kill cleaner though. It's going to be Josh with the ball. He's going to run straight into somebody and that will give control over to Silly. Silly's now going to go through school. One player to beat. Oh, he needs to be careful. Oh, 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 getting in the kill. Oh, Silly, that was a huge play. Picks up the kill with a double jump, but the drone bounce out of the map. That would have been nasty if he was able to pick that up and push through school. But he is able to pick it up after the... Uh, Oh, is it Craig? So it looks like he might throw it in there. He's been heavily stunned. Lots of players coming against him. Didn't really have anywhere to go. And you can yep. see that. He's just looking. He was kind of just trapped. Nowhere to go. Mutation picks up the kill. Looks for the second. He's take his time. Oh, he's stuck in an elbow. He's now got away. Don't manage to get him. His teammate will pick it up. Mutation still holding green. Mutation. Doing let this go. Huge job right there. Silly with the drone. Just gonna wrap around, and again, this way you need to see his teammates try and push into school, try and get control of that, and that's exactly what he's thinking. But if he just goes in here by himself, he's almost instantly gonna get shot. He really, yeah, doesn't really have the clue. He's gonna have to wait. He needs to be teammate. patient. Maybe release a satellite drone, try and pick up a kill, pick it back up. But he's allowing his teammates to go first, and they are slaying the way for Silly. If his teammate can pick up that last kill, that would have been huge. He's gonna go for himself and Dom get a little bit of patience. Three piece for Dom there. Yeah, you got now, a little bit there of was now, one of the things I've seen a lot of players have been doing recently is when you're in that kind of scenario, you just drop the ball, you throw the ball right. at that, and then you use your gun to try and punch through yourself. Right. So you're adding an extra body to that fight, right? It means you can trade. I mean, it was technically it was a 2v2, he left it in. It could have been a 3v2 if he'd thrown the ball down and, and joined his teammates. Yep. Might have won the trade and then picked the ball back up. You see Mac out with the drone, and immediately goes over back to Silly. He's pushing his garage side. Two and a half minutes still to go to the second side. Yet to see a point, and uh, Silly just throwing that one out. I'm not sure if he was trying to though maybe just trying to release it and pull out his weapon but the drone is going to reset Dom has it in his hands however Brick Hill comes out for a mutation he's going to clean up yeah, a bit of a control now there's a lot of Epsilon have just gone down there is one Epsilon player in the middle of that map going to be mid street and here they go they're pushing towards school once again Silly is going to have it this is a very good push in from Vex. They have the bodies. Mutation's going to pick up the computer, picks up one more. Danger now for Epsilon, but they've managed to get it away. Mad Cat is going to go for the reset. That was a smart play. Mad Cat picks up that drone and immediately just ran back. Yeah. Recognizing there was going to be no Vex players behind him. You, you've got to be upset out. if you're Vex, really. I mean, they had, right. a, they had a good setup. They were pushing. They had the numbers. Oh, it's happening again. Mad Cat says, thank you. Mad Cat says, thank you. I'll take that. See you later. Pushes the opposite side of the map, and he is away here. Has the support of a teammate. And if his teammate can win that gunfight, that'd be massive. But Mad Cat shoots from downtown. He's going to miss that. And Silly should be able to just throw that one out of bounds once again. 
Yeah, back once again to the middle, but Vex have a lot of bodies there. They should be able to win this. A lot of players come to school from Epsilon. And they are going to just all pile this at once. They are flooding. They've got it again. I mean, you've got to say, Epsilon have been in control the majority of this game, and I think that's where Vex are having trouble. But they're always playing the ball very well. Yeah, really is proving to be problematic for Vex. Two points in it still. With one minute to go, PT has the drone. And he's just going to rotate around towards that bottom middle. Is he going to go for the double jump spot? No. Besides against it, as he was getting shot from pretty much every angle, tries to release the drone, but of course he does get shut down. So now Epsilon needs to try and stay around the outside. Mad Cat's going to fall. Josh, last man alive for the team. Spitfire slowed down a little bit. Has got that one kill. Give me a push towards school. He's going to have support. He's going to see it. Call that out. Armor's so frustrating to cut through. He's going to get it. His teammates are going to clean it up as well. Epsilon back in control once again. Now Josh is going to just stay around Atlas. Look at that player. Gary's going to pick him up as well. Surely, no! Wow. But, Silly took him down. But whilst all that was going on, Dom was able to put some yards on the drone, and now he could just go for the release, but now he needs to go for the melee. Oh, Misses it, has two players around there. Mutation picks it up. 20 seconds left. Vex, they need to go, and they need to do it right now. He's got one player to beat. He is going to get taken down. Petey picks that one up. They are trying to flood it. It looks like Epsilon may just throw this out for the reset. Yep. Down it goes, and that should be all about Epsilon. They will take this 2-0. Yep, five seconds left. No one's going to pick that one up from Vex and Epsilon representing Europe fantastically. A quick 2-0, and of course, that puts them into round five now of the open bracket. Yes, and one more game when they join the pool. TCM and Basic, they're already in waiting in round five, so we could potentially be seeing all three European teams making it into the pools. Yeah, one more to go. That will decide it. Obviously, TCM, I think, are here and ready for the game. I can see them sitting in the front row, yep. kind of watching their European colleagues. But an impressive play there, you've got to say, from both teams. Yeah. And it could have gone either way. The only kind of points that Vex scored in that one was, like I said, Dom maybe should have reset it. Yeah, Madcap really having a very strong series oh, there. His fantastic. His control and uplink was phenomenal. But from the first game of the day, congratulations, of course, to Epsilon, making it to round five. For now, though, we're going to get a quick commercial break. And when we return, we'll have more action live here from Orlando.
Pay money for this. 